Let's get a pressure board of that. Halfway through the most ambitious face transplant surgery ever attempted, doctors have removed the donor's face. Face is going to the other now. A warning, some of the footage you're about to see is graphic. Former firefighter Pat Hardison is lying on the operating table next door. His now exposed face, ready for the transplant. When we remove the face and we start going into the other room, it's like starting a whole new operation. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yep. Lead surgeon Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez positions the face. He now must quickly get blood circulating to it before the tissue starts to die. It's been without blood flow for almost three hours. Until the face becomes pink, my heart's racing. It's an intricate process, stitching together the blood vessels. Okay, we're open. Then, within seconds, see the pink? Pat's heart is now pumping blood into his new face. The entire face, the scalp, the ears, everything is pink. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. But I know that we still have a lot more work ahead of us. The surgical team works straight through the night. We stabilize the remaining portions of the skeleton. We stabilize the inside lining of the mouth. We secure the eyelids. And now we begin to inset the back of the scalp. Anchoring bones, nerves, muscles, before securing the outer skin. The final sutures in place 26 hours after surgery began. Good job. Congratulations, everyone. Excellent job today. When the surgery was over, what went through your mind? Now you start thinking about what's going to happen. Ironically, now you've entered the danger zone. Correct. Infection is the main concern. Pat's immune system is compromised by the anti-rejection medications he'll be on for the rest of his life. Nine days after surgery, Pat is finally out of bed, but has yet to see his new face. Dr. Rodriguez worries his new appearance could frighten him. Are you nervous? No, not at all? Do you have any idea what to expect? What it's gonna look like? All right. So here we go. Here, we're gonna give, give me your hand. So go ahead and just turn that around. And just take a close look at it. Let me see a gauze. He takes in his new reflection for the very first time. Can you see your hair growing? Can you see your beard? His hands exploring the strange yet familiar features he thought he'd never have again. What do you think about ears? This is something that's great, right? How great is that? Pat's recovery is remarkable. After nearly three months, his new face taking shape over his own bone structure, his brow and cheekbones. Sitting with him face to face 87 days after surgery, his scars hidden just under his collar, a 41-year-old man with a 26-year-old face. How are you feeling? I feel good. How much yeah. feeling do you have now in your face, in your head? It's getting better from here down. It's still got a ways to go with the swelling and the feeling, but everything else, it's, it's coming on. We were finally able to ask him directly why he was willing to risk everything. I never thought about the, the risk of dying because that never scared me because there's things in life that are way worse than death. There are things in life that, way worse than death? Yes. Yeah. And I had lived like that for 14 years. Even though the speed of his recovery surprises doctors, the frustrating first few weeks post-surgery tests his limits. You had to relearn to swallow, relearn to yeah. chew, relearn to talk. I told Dr. Rodriguez in the beginning, I said, you do your part, I'll do mine. Go again. Because this operation was so extensive, we did harm his swallowing mechanism. Think about it. Hard swallow. Good job. Again. Wait, wait, wait. Don't run out. Don't run out. Don't run out. Now this is special. <clears throat> For a year now. We're just going to keep working. It's like so, so much better. Pat spends hours every day training. Deep breath, and you know what to do. Fighting for every hint of facial expression. Those muscles from the donor do, do not have any functional input. The nerves are not connected. But if the muscles are perfectly aligned with Pat's face, his muscles will power the new face. And smile. Doctors say he'll get better at smiling, winking, and talking. Pat's already overwhelmed by the transformation. No, I staring. I'm scaring the kids. It's very emotional. 
What is that emotion? Is that just? I just what they call happy tears. Happy tears. I've been upset so much over the last 14 years because I face it every day, and then now it's like people see you. There's and nothing like being just a face in the crowd. That's all I am. No face in the crowd. What's been the hardest part of all this? Being away from my kids. Being away from your kids. Love you. Love you. Love you. Miss you. His kids back in Mississippi have yet to see a picture of their dad, shielding them until he's ready. Uh, pack my stuff New York. And eight weeks after surgery. Are you excited about seeing dad? Yes. Scared? No. Anxious? Yes. Excited? Yes. They're getting ready to visit him. We're currently descending into New York. Pat's nervous about how they'll react when they see his new face for the first time. 